Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to share with you how I boosted my SAT score from 1370 to a 1550. That's right, a 180 point improvement. If you're prepping for the SAT and want to get to your dream score, then stick around because I'll be sharing exactly how I did it. Step by step, let's get into it. So let me start from the beginning. Back in May 2024, I took my first SAT. And here's the thing, I didn't study at all. I was stuck with school, AP exams, extracurriculars, and I figured, why not just take it to see where I stand? And I ended up with a 3070. Now, 3070 isn't that too bad, but it wasn't what I was aiming for. I knew I could do better if I really committed to it. But at that point, I had so much on my plate that I couldn't really focus on SAT prep. Right after that, it was a crazy time for it was AP exams, school finals, and summer plans. I didn't touch SAT prep in June or July. Basically, for two months, I didn't think about it at all. Then August came around because it was summertime and I realized I had to get serious if I want to get, wanted a big score improvement. But I didn't just dive into random studying. I knew I needed a strategy. First, I tackled the vocabulary problem. I knew that a lot of the reading and writing section relies on understanding words in the context. So I decided to memorize around 2000 words. Yeah, I know that sounds like a ton, but trust me, it's worth it. I made flashcards, used apps, and spent at least 30 minutes every day reviewing new words and their synonymous. The goal wasn't just to memorize definitions, but to really understand how words are used in different contexts. This made a huge difference in my reading and writing sections. Next, I started doing College Board Blue, Blue Book practice tests. Now, this is probably the most important part of my prep. College Board's practices tests are actual SAT questions, so they are the most accurate response representation of what you will see on a test day. I took practice test 6 and after doing all that vocab work and being more strategic about pacing, I scored 1510 on that practice test. I was really excited because I knew I was close to my goal, but I wasn't stopping there. After each test, I went back and reviewed every question I got wrong. I didn't just look at the correct answer. I spent time figuring out why I got it wrong too. Was it a misunderstanding, a careless, a careless mistake, or did I run out of time? I started tracking all of my mistakes in a journal and every week I would redo those questions. This helped me learn from my mistakes and make sure I didn't repeat them on the next test. For reading and writing, it really came down to vocabulary and understanding grammar rules. I used Khan Academy to help, with, help me with my grammar. I practiced identifying the main ideas in reading passages and became more efficient at finding the right evidence to support my answers. For math, I focused on mastering the core concepts and formulas. I also work on improving my time management because on the math section, even one or two mistakes can drop your score a lot. I found that doing harder problems early helped me save time for the ones I struggled with. Finally, I took another full-length practice test and kept doing targeted practices. By the time I took my final SAT, I felt a lot more confident. When I got my score back, I was thrilled to see a 1550, with 760 on reading and writing and 790 on math section. The strategies I used really paid off, and I couldn't have me happier with the results. So if you're trying to improve your SAT score, ST, SAT score here are my top three tips. First, do all the college board practice tests. These are the best tools to familiarize yourself with the test format and the platform. Two, memorize tons of vocab. This is a game changer for the reading and writing sections. Three, track your mistakes. Keep a journal of the questions you got wrong and review them regularly. I hope these tips and my journey help you on your own SAT journey. Remember, it's all about consistency and targeted practices. You can definitely improve your score if you put in the time and work smart. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for the notifications on future videos. Drop your own SAT tips or any questions on the comments. I'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching and good luck on your SAT.